Today I'm going to be checking out the top 10 Minecraft Bedrock Edition servers, with the featured servers being lackluster to say the least. It's paradise. And there's so many different ones out there that are way better. Game modes such as factions, prisons, and even Skyblock are all on this list. Watch the videos to the very end to see the top 10 best servers for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Trust me, it will actually shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 Minecraft Bedrock Edition servers. I I am super excited about this and we're gonna be going over every single one so definitely subscribe to the channel and like the video if you guys want to go to see more servers just like this but anyways let's go to jump right into it i promise you guys i'm not threatening you with this but this was just for a different video but anyways let's go to jump into the number 10 spots which is going to be river network this is one of my friends server river rain so let's go ahead and check it out when you first go ahead and get into the server you guys can go ahead and find a bunch of different things and it is a survival server which is going to be cross platform which is amazing Amazing, but it mainly does have bedrock players and you could tell if someone's on Java just by their icon not being the gamer tag as you can see so this one is actually on Java and then this guy's on Java and so on so but mainly a lot of bedrock players so you can go out and connect and play with these people and they actually did recently get a brand new season which is pretty cool Overall, I'm pretty happy with River Network. It has amazing features, amazing community, and has a crazy owner that really loves his community. If you want to go into the wild, all you guys got to go ahead and do is type in the word slash wild, and it's going to go ahead and bring up this chest right here. You can go into the end, you guys can go into the nether, or you guys can go over to the overworld. So let's go ahead and warp into the overworld wild and see what is up over there. And let's see what people have created. So we're actually here. We have teleported. And honestly, the structures are not that bad so really really nice terrain you can go ahead and walk around and check things out if you ever want your starter kit simply type in slash kit starter and you guys will go ahead and get it oh no we're getting attacked by a zombie so let's go ahead and jump into the number nine spots which is going to be a vinch tech which mainly is a sky block in prison server as you can see this is the lobby right here so simply clicking on this compass you guys can go and see all the game modes that they do provide so sky block they also do have prisons what they're most new for is their sky block so let's check it out and warp there apparently sky block is offline and i forgot to mention that they do have a bunch of different sky block lobbies as you guys can see but pretty much all of them are offline for repairs so let's go ahead and check out their prison server and see what they got so we are in prisons right now going over to here where it does say mines you guys can warp to any mine that you want so it's honestly really really easy and you can go ahead and rank up and here's the mine list actually as so you can go through here and check through all the mines see which one you want to go to and now we're actually at the first mine so this is literally just like starter you can start mining this with your hand but honestly i recommend getting yourself a starter kit typing in slash kit starter we'll go ahead and give you guys a starter kit with a pickaxe and axe and even some steak which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and start mining and just like that you could simply go ahead and rank up and i'm a pretty big fan of this server so i highly recommend checking it out and you guys can go ahead and rank up just like me but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the number eight spot because that server is also really really cool hold on what is this guy doing here this guy just gave us a free pickaxe honestly i love handouts so now we actually have ourselves a diamond pickaxe i don't know if it's because i'm a youtuber he just recognized me he must be a very nice person but let's go ahead and start mining and look how easy this is we can literally just start doing it like that and get some really cool loot i also forgot to mention that they do have Gang. Oh, he is gone, but they actually do have gangs, as you can see above his head, which is really, really cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number eight spots. Coming in at number eight, we do have Time Crack, and they actually have a really cool mini game server. So let's check it out. So this is what the lobby looks like, which is actually pretty cool. And they have game modes such as Bed Wars, Sky Wars. The only issue about this server is it doesn't have enough players. So game modes like this are extremely hard to go ahead and play solo because you literally can't face off against yourself on bed wars so something to go ahead and keep in mind but if you guys want to go ahead and check out the server and somehow make it popular this guy's going over to sky wars so let's see what happens and i believe this is going to be solo so let's see if we can go ahead and win this real quick Oh, that's actually cool. So if you go ahead and click on the chest, it automatically just goes into... Oh, so that makes it really fast. That's actually good for MCPE, but I know a lot of people may be against that. So let's go ahead and jump over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 
Hold on, guys. Wait, why am I so bad? Hold on. Oh, ah, and we are dead. So honestly, not the best game right there. And honestly, I made a lot of bad calls. But overall, a pretty fun experience nonetheless. Anyways, let's go to jump into the number seven spots. Coming in at number seven, we do have Bosscraft, a multi-server network. Let's check it out. So this is what the lobby looks like. But let's check out what they have inside of their compass. Inside of the compass, they actually do have Skyblock. They have OP prisons. And they also do have an SMP server as well. Let's go ahead and check Check out their SMP server. I love SMP. It's such a really good game mode. So let's check it out. So you actually spawn in with some items as well. You get a sword. I believe you also... Oh, you don't get any armor. By typing in kits, you can go ahead and get armor as well. I believe in the starter kit, you can go and redeem it. And there's a bunch of other kits that you guys can go ahead and get as well. Really, really cool stuff. And typing in slash wild, you guys can go ahead and go into the wilderness. You can select exactly where you want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and warp over here. And now we we're in the wild and ready to go as you can see we just got ourselves some armor just like that by redeeming some of the daily kits and i'm actually pretty excited so if you guys want to go ahead and check out bosscraft they also have skyblock and prisons making it a really cool server and there's a lot of people playing and just like i said for river network you guys can see who is going to be on bedrock and who's going to be on java and there is a lot of java players on here and you can also go ahead and donate to the server to keep it up and running which is always amazing so always support the servers on this list if you guys really enjoy them but anyways let's go to jump into the number six spots coming in at number six we do have fallen tech let's check it out i did a dedicated video for fallen tech and they have sponsored some videos in the past and their server is really really supreme take a look at their compass they have factions and they also do have skyblock red and a practice server so i want to go ahead and take a look at skyblock because this is probably one of my favorites so let's go ahead and look into it since the last time i recorded on here they did get a new spawn which is amazing and typing in slash is we're going to bring us to the island typing in slash warp so we'll go ahead and bring you to a bunch of different areas just like that so you can go ahead and warp back to spawn you guys can go ahead and warp to crates but something that's even cooler is look at my ender dragon and pet that i have gotten from the server owner i think this is actually one of my favorite things about it and you guys could also go ahead and change the size of it you guys could also change the name too which is just so amazing and there's so many different things going on the skyblock server they have so many unique features as well so i highly recommend checking out this server if you guys haven't gotten a chance to already but let's go to jump into the number five spot where i could finally put my hack clients to use on 2b2e and the ip is on screen so let's check it out so we're the server we're the heck are we okay so this is exactly what it looks like oh my goodness so as you guys know about anarchy servers especially with the realm ones you're not able to go ahead and have too much destruction but 2b2e is literally the longest running mc bedrock server out there that is anarchy which is just amazing so they never restart it they just keep it updated to the newest versions and this is just crazy it's so hard to go out and get out of here but it is possible you just got to go ahead and spend about 20 minutes so definitely we go ahead and look into this but if you guys are into anarchy and hacking on servers and really putting it to the test then i highly recommend tb2e but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the number four spots coming in at number four we do have gta you guys know i love gta servers it's what i started off on a minecraft xbox 360 so let's check it out so when you get into the server you're at the lobby you can go ahead and warp between a bunch of different lobbies which i was never sure why they actually had that because it never made sense to me since there's not really too many people on the server at any given time but heading over to here we can go over to las venturas or vegas or whatever this place is going to be and let's head over here and it's going to go ahead and teleport you over to the server so it's pretty much using bungie to get you over there typing the command slash kit will go ahead and give you guys a knife and it will also give you guys this armor right here. And you also do go out and get a piece of food, I believe. And it does have a two-minute cooldown, so keep that in mind. There's also a warp where you guys can go to different places. I will say that the realm is surprisingly better. The person that has made a GTA realm somehow did a much better job than this currently. I know they're still updating this and trying to get things added in. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this server since it's in server form. And some people don't like playing on realms that have limitations to play right here is going to be the gas station you can buy a bunch of various different things from this guy right over here which is going to be food and that's what i like about this server they have a bunch of different things that you can go and buy and they're in real real like scenarios and locations 
which is really cool. At the bank, obviously, you can do bank things and talk to this guy, and you can go to transfer money to different people, which is cool, and you can also, like, put money back in the bank, so when you die, you don't go out and lose it. You can also vote for the server to get crate keys and get exclusive items. You have, yet again, another restaurant, and there's just so many different places like this where you could literally just go on for days and days. Over here is the gun shop where you guys could buy a bunch of different types of guns, just so many different things things and you can also go ahead and buy like weapons and there's also like so these are the melee weapons and you have like actual guns and there's also explosives as well i believe you can go ahead and buy vehicles such as jetpacks as well so something to go ahead and keep in mind but let's go to jump into the number three spot on our list coming in at number three we have ecpe this is actually one of the biggest and longest running faction servers of minecraft bedrock edition so ecpe just as i said it has factions and it also does have op factions so let's go ahead and check out OP Factions, and we should be warped there very soon. I believe this is one of the more competitive servers, so something to go ahead and keep in mind since we are on OP Factions. You do start off with Iron Armor, but let's go ahead and go to Wild. And they also do have some other things as well that I do want to go and show you guys, but I'll show that later. So going over to slash Wild, we're actually going to swamp by them right now, and we can also go and get ourselves some more kits as well. So really, really cool stuff. And as you can see, someone... I oh! <laughs> what? No way. No way, guys. Someone just gave us, like, a full diamond kit. Literally, someone just gave us a free Plymouth kit. That is absolutely insane. I, I just can't believe how lucky we're actually getting inside of this video. Can literally just start putting on the arm. Like, that is just crazy, guys. But you guys get the point of factions. It's actually pretty difficult to go ahead and actually raid people's bases. And you guys can go ahead and look around for them and start raiding them. And become the biggest faction of them all. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number two spot on our list. At number two, we do have Zekla, a PvP server. Let's check it out. What I really like about Zekla, though, is that they do split up their game modes between different regions. So if I go ahead and click on this, you can see like EU, you got US, North America, Asia. So really, really cool that they do that. And then you can go over to like ranked, unranked. So now we're going to go over to Virginia, apparently. So let's check it out. And I can't believe they're splitting it up between even regions inside of the US. So they're getting really, really specific once you guys go ahead and click on the sword you guys can find a bunch of different game modes my favorite game mode is sumo because it doesn't really require much skill and you're just able to go ahead and knock people off pretty easily so let's go ahead and knock someone off does anybody what a problem would be hold on wait hold on man wait hold on he you know this guy is trying to combo us he's trying to get rid of us wait 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 hold on wait how is he doing this wait he's comboing us oh my goodness wait wait guys Wait, how is he doing this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, we're gonna turn. We're turning it around. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait, no, no, no. What? How did he? What? Wait, what? How? Okay, that's it. You guys get the point of this server. Really cool. I'm just not a good at PvP. Let's go ahead and check out the number one spot. Finally, coming in at number one, we have Hyperlands. Hyperlands literally just copies Hypixel. That's literally what it does. So let's go ahead and check it out. So simply by clicking on the die here, you can go ahead and remove all the players, make them disappear. Pretty cool feature. We saw it in ECPE as well. I didn't really point it out. But you guys can go ahead and go over to the Nether Star. They have lobbies and they also do have games. So let's check out the games. We have Sky wars bed wars uhc the bridge honestly i'm gonna play it safe and i'm gonna go into the bridge so as you can see we have our bridge map and you can walk around and honestly i think this is one of my favorite game modes and when i put these in a list i try to go ahead and list them based on my enjoyment and i love hyperlands because it's just very similar to high pixel and who doesn't like high pixel but anyways that's gonna pretty much wrap today's video hope you guys enjoyed and we're able to go ahead and find an amazing server that you guys love to go ahead and play on and let me know down in the comments section below which servers do you guys like to go and play and i'll put them on the next list but i'll see you guys next time on shift replays bye